On his way to becoming a multi-platinum Grammy-winning superstar, Mark Anthony helped usher in the Latin pop music explosion. But his musical roots are in salsa, and now he brings that rich heritage to the big screen playing salsa pioneer Hector Lavoe in the new movie El Cantante. And Mark Anthony is with us this morning. Good morning, sir. I'm good. I'm really good. Good to see you. To nice see you. bright and early in the morning. There are people in America who don't know who Hector Lavoe is, so right. just give us a brief explanation of who he was and why he was so important to Latin music. You know, um, Hector Lavoe, to put it in a nutshell, he was our Bob Dylan, man. You know, um, and I realized the impact of Hector Lavoe, not only his life, but his music, when, when I realized that he played a, such a huge role in my life, not only as a musician, but as a Puerto Rican as well. Yeah. His music was like the soundtrack to my life. Mm. He lived a very, very tragic existence, and I remember just hearing about it. It's like, yeah. what happened now, yeah. you know? Yeah. But he was very, very open about it, and, and just never kept his eye off the prize, which was his music and his people. And his music actually very much reflected some of his tribulations and some of the trials and his ups and his that, downs. That's what he chose to sing about, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, um, and there's a line in the movie that says, the, the bigger he became as an artist, mm -hmm. The more he sank as a man, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He didn't know how much people loved him, sure, sure, but he sure. was he was every man's man, you know. This uh, story, the, I love this beginning scene, you know, where you you are, are, are playing Hector Lavoe and Hector Lavoe is out singing with his father. They're singing the old songs, yeah, right, yeah. on the streets and yeah. in, in Puerto Rico. And his father so doesn't want him to go to New York, and so doesn't he knows that tragedy will befall him once yeah. once he gets gets what he's wishing for. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It, um, um, he was always caught between his father's um, um, going against his father's wishes yeah. and his dreams. Yeah. He used to cry. He hated his voice so much. He, he didn't know why people loved him so much. It's interesting because it almost sounds like as much as everyone loved him, he almost didn't have faith in himself. Absolutely, no question. Yeah. And he lived with that on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. And know? there's a very volatile relationship in the middle of all of this. To say the least. Fucci was his, the love of his life, love, hate, love, hate, right. and that of course is played by... A very by, dysfunctional uh, by your wife. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jennifer plays Pucci. Yeah. And, um, what I realized through filming the movie was how yeah. normal we were, you know? Famous, right? I was like, man, are we normal. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, so definitely uh, served a higher cause. Yeah. You, I, want to I want to show a clip because this, this clip just really shows just how much on one hand she's your defender, but on the other hand it's like, there, it's like oil and vinegar, it's salt and pepper, it's uh, who knows what. Right. But these things are, are coming together and work together, but they, they're fighting each other at the same time. Let's take a look at this. Willie's right. You shouldn't be sticking up for Hector this time. He's always f***ing up again, as usual. Did, did anybody ask for their money back? I don't know, Eddie. Were they upstairs at the ticket office asking for their money back? Did they? No, Pucci. No, but one day they will. Wayne, the dog ate the car keys, man. I had to borrow the neighbor's car today. Man. <laughs> That's a good one. You, know me. you don't have a dog. Oh man, <laughs> and that's just a little taste. That's that a, is, that's a mild taste of some is, of the volatility. Yes, yes. That's about the only thing you can show on TV, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like shooting some of those really intense scenes with the love of your life? You know, um, throughout this whole process, I probably got every call from every actor friend of mine saying, "Listen, you know, give me advice as to, you know, when you work with your partner, da da da. It's very difficult. The material's difficult, and it was an absolute dream." We were privy to what we were looking to accomplish that day. The drive-in, right? You know, um, we had that time to go over the scenes. Set yourself up. As absolutely, you were, yeah, no question. Yeah. And 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 Jennifer was so passionate about the project. Mm -hmm. She's been working on it almost six years yeah. now. And um, I've been on board for five years. She was involved in this even before she met you, I think, right? Not before she Just, met me, but yeah, but before before you guys got together. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so she's been developing it for six years. She called me five years ago to attach me to wow. it, and. Um, it was just an amazing, amazing experience all the way around. And you can see when you watch it is indeed a labor of love. Indeed yeah, a labor of love. Absolutely no question yeah. about it. And the music is great so and uh, we get to see Ruben Blades. Yeah, it's I know, It's all good, I know. it's all good, it's all good. It's all, all kinds of goodies. There you go. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. I really me. appreciate it.